Grand rising. Isn't it weird times? I just thought I'd see who's on to just chat about reflections. And at the moment, I'm actually really struggling with a lot of very strange things happening in my external. But instead of laying blame, I am reflecting on what in me has attracted that, particularly with regard to my financials. Um, so here's some things that I'm gleaning from it this morning because it's chaotic at the moment. I am reflecting on the fact that God lives within me. And so if there's something in my external that is showing me that there's still some chaos within, and that chaos is manifested through another person, a situation, a scenario, I'm just looking at what I can shift within me to change the externals actually. I look at things so differently now, I look at them really back to front. So there is, a, you know, a couple of people in my life at the moment that think they're helping me. They actually believe their own lies and yet they're creating chaos for me. There's deception, there's um, miscommunication, there's angst, there's addiction involved, there's all sorts of crazy shit going on. And I'm compassionate to that, don't get me wrong. But I'm looking at myself now saying, what in me is still attracting that, even though I've got those um, situations underhand as far as blocking contact, why is it still leaking in? And I realized something this morning about myself, which God has actually been trying to whisper to me for decades. Very difficult lesson. Do not assume somebody else wants your help. Do not give advice to anyone that hasn't asked for advice. Do not leak your energy field. Because what I'm seeing in this morning's chaotic communications from this person, from their perception, they think they're helping me. Which is that's the person that I fell in love with. That is the personality trait that I saw potential in. But when I look at it from the other lens, they're not helping me. They're creating chaos in my life. And so we all believe our own storylines from our own lens perspective. But at soul level, you reflect me, I reflect you. And it really helped me. This actual person helped me write down my list of values, which I'll be eternally grateful for. Because as soon as I wrote down my list of values, including peace, that person was propelled out of my life immediately. It, was, it took immediate effect. We don't realize how much the good, the bad, and the ugly actually helps us grow. And that's my tag not working because my credit card's still not activated. But everything happens for a reason for your good if you lean into it. And so all I'm trying to shift is what's in me that's allowing the lack of boundaries or allowing this muddiness in the pool of reflection. You know, if you are angry, the waters are stirred. And you will never truly see yourself in the pond if the water's stirred. So it's very good to just feel into that anger, allow it to disperse, and take another look again at the reflection in the pond when you've calmed down a bit. And I can see this now with very clear eyes in how much I'm shifting and evolving. And for that, I'm really grateful to this person and the other scenarios that are happening in my life at the moment. I'm really grateful to them because when you overgive or you give where it isn't appreciated, you are leaking your own energy. And the first place that will show up is feeling tired. Is everyone feeling tired at the moment? Like we're all drained, our energy fields are drained because there's so much demanding our attention and it's all chaotic. And number two, it will show up in your financial situation. 
and know that if God is in us, we have the ability to make as much as we need for each day. And so if the money's slowing down for you, I want to just make a tiny suggestion and take it or leave it for what it's worth. I just took some time off to reflect, pivot and turn and jump timelines. Jump timelines because sometimes we get so caught up in the dream of what we think is going to happen for our future and yes, while that's a possibility in one certain vibration, if you are shifting and evolving into higher vibratory state by doing this internal reflection, you have multiple timelines offered to you. And so I've come back and had, after a whole day off, just spending time with my mom, sitting still, taking a nap, um, choosing not to stress about all this financial chaos. I've come back and my family have actually seed dropped some alternative solutions and they really resonate with me so it might mean for a completely different outcome to what I've been dreaming of and I'm okay with it because you know all these pathways to our soul purpose they all lead there that's the good news it doesn't actually matter whether you you do it this way or that way or you change and evolve or you change your vocation I've just cancelled a course that I was signed up to because my credit card was blocked literally today the repayments are meant to be coming out of that card and I have thought yeah I'm gonna do this other course instead I'm gonna shift into a different direction of my career watch this space still using frequencies still using my voice still using um, all the good gifts that God's wired within me and I I'm feeling into it and it doesn't feel the same and there's an aspect of that that's very disappointing I'm not gonna lie because we get so attached to how we think the outcomes going to be but I know with God's spark in me I can't do it wrong there are many ways to the top of the mountain and this is feeling really really expansive for me and I can't explain it and it's going to involve some adventure and not being as tied down like I am now with my studio so I've got plan A, plan B, plan C if that makes sense and I owe it all to this person that's created so much chaos in my life thinking in her magical lens that she's helping me and I have to say, she really is. Even though it's been done chaotically, I never would have approached it this way because I, I, I cannot have this person in my life. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It's been chaotic, toxic, um, reflective, but it's showing me that there are tiny aspects to myself that allow this in. And I'm grateful for the transactions you know if you can see everything as good you will overcome things really quickly and this is a victorious stance that is really really magical thank you Rachel you have the option to pivot and revise your path thank you for hearing me on this if you have any tips on this as well that we're all living beings that are water beings. And if you've ever seen two droplets of water attract to each other, it's magnet magnetism. They morph into one or they repel. The frequency that you are holding, your belief systems, your attachments, your control, your desires, your stuck in the mud ways, will attract the same and I feel like I've ticked a lot of boxes in the last year even in the last seven years I've accomplished so much and I'm really grateful to those that are in my membership because I can see them journeying the same journey a lot of them are kicking goals creating new business plans but in this season of spirit outpouring the goal is to flow. 
The goal is to not feel stuck. The goal is to outgrow what you've done before and do things bigger, better, um, without any manipulation or control. Yesterday when I was chatting to my mum, she said to me that she accidentally threw out a box of heirlooms in her recent house move. And we laughed about it because we both realized that it is attachment that weighs us down to old sluggish things. And that attachment is emotional. There's actually this new technology, I don't know how new it is, but you can, um, you, it seems to me to be like infrared light and you use this special camera. I don't have the name of it, but um, we'll try and do some research together. And they were videoing things in an op shop and whatever had an attachment, a spirit attachment to, it presented as this stick figure. Have you ever seen this? There's a little bit of that being shown on social media at the moment. And I realized that we, when we attach ourselves to places, people, things, we weave our sacred energy into something that is maybe not necessarily worthy of that attention. And so I'm encouraging you today to draw all of your sacred energy back and just sit, be still, listen, and be willing to pivot and turn your relationship statuses, your business ideas and concepts because none of us know what tomorrow holds and how do you know if you're on track well you'll be feeling joyful and you'll be feeling peaceful and I know that when God is in us we will always be provided for of that I am assured so the reflections just to recap if you are struggling financially maybe it's time to ask yourself where is my energy leaking? If there's chaos in any of your friendships or you're being duped and, and deceived, maybe you have overgiven where it wasn't received. Maybe you had great intentions like I have had all these years and spirits often reprimanded me on this that I was overgiving. And in the overgiving, my soulful reflections show that people are not matching me within my heart space. Just like I'm not matching the frequency of this person that thinks that they're helping me. Because the help that they're giving me from their side seems like it's generous and all expansive, but to me it's manifested as chaotic. We are operating on different radio frequencies and the frequencies have to match for unity to happen I hope this um, really honest raw chat has helped you sit back and just witness the change that's happening swiftly for all of humanity at the moment consciousness is able to be thrown into any single space in fact today I have an interview with um, Beck Gross that we will be placing up onto YouTube. So I'll click that and link you back to her YouTube. She's just started a new YouTube channel and um, I'll let you guys know about that. But we're going to talk into that today with an interview and these things are like my soul that you don't have to feel stuck in any old story that you've told yourself you don't have to feel stuck in a house that you're living in you don't have to feel stuck in a relationship that you feel trapped in consciousness has the ability to go wherever you cast it to so cast your consciousness today and your beautiful energy and your thoughts to whatever brings you joy and peace and uplifts your spirit because this is the time to really pivot and turn, I feel. Everything's shifting. The old is gone, the new has come. And that is going to happen within each different system as you pivot, turn and shift your own sacred energy. The, the systems follow the individual egregore. 
let me know what you're shifting and feeling into today value your own self-worth when you're giving things away too easily without setting your own boundaries for what doesn't feel comfortable to you I want you to just reflect on the why and the how and realize that that's manifesting in your financials too I hope this chat I believe that if you can hear this then we're tracking on a similar frequency God bless you all. Have a beautiful day. Today's membership, it's your last chance to jump in at $44 a month, which is a bargain. And tomorrow, the membership will go up to $111. Uh, so check it out on my website. If you'd like to join into these types of chats within the membership, I'd love to be there to support you. Only if you're willing, though. See ya.